How about you, YouTube? Back with the Service Tech again. All right, guys. So we are going to be doing another unboxing video today, and it is Loot Crate. Um, the I believe the I, I don't remember what the theme was. Um, I know it had something to do with Black Panther, of course, since that's what was in theaters. Um, I know this is the February box, and I'm a little slow on getting it out there but yeah it is what it is so we are just going to knock everything off my desk and dive right into this so. and let's set this right here Open up. and right on top we have the shirt And as you guys can see, it is definitely something Black Panther. That is cool. That's cool. I do like the design of it. Um, you get the Panther in the background, and then you get Black Panther right there in the foreground. Uh, nice little action pose. Not an ex. I mean, it's not a highly detailed design. I've actually seen a lot of really, really good Black Panther shirts. Um, out right now um, but I have been kind of hesitant on buying anything because I haven't seen the movie yet so I didn't want to buy you know a shirt and start advertising you know stuff that I haven't seen because you know people ask me oh man what do you think about the movie oh, I haven't seen it yet and, you know one of those things so anyways um, looks like the next thing in here are Okay, they're Pacific Rim coasters, and these actually feel like they're the leather-bound ones. And it says um, Pan Pacific Defense Corps on there, which is the, I guess you can say the corporation or the military that actually makes the Jaegers. Now I remember, one of the reasons I wasn't too worried about getting rid of this box, um, because here lately I've been skipping the months that haven't been interesting me. Um, was because it... I don't know what's going on with the camera. Come on, focus. Okay. Um, was that it was... It did have something Pacific Rim in it. Um, and... I'm kind of a little disappointed if this is the only thing that's Pacific Rim in this box. I mean, they're decent feeling coasters. They're just cork and leather on top. And you get four of them and all of them are identical. So, I don't know. It's kind of a letdown. I mean, I'll take anything Pacific Rim-wise, but still kind of a letdown. This freaking camera. I don't know. Why are you not auto-focusing? Um... Okay, so the theme was Protect. It is February 2018, and the pen is Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. I'm not 100% sure I completely agree with this. Um, I mean, it is a cool pen, but it just kind of seems like it was thrown in there. Um, next, we have The Expanse. Recon it. Ship? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what the expanse is. So if anybody knows, please share it with me. This with a ship, a base, and a backdrop. Let's open this up. I don't I don't know if this is a sculpture, if this is like a 3D puzzle. I don't know if this thing is made of paper. You know, I don't have a fucking clue. Um, so far, I'm not overly impressed with this box. Um, 
okay? Okay, so this is kind of like that little diorama that everybody was getting uh, for Stranger Things. So, we got a couple little pegs here. Snap together base and it says the expanse on it. And the background has a planet and a few spacecrafts floating around back there. Eggs just go in the holes. back one is slightly notched so that you can't put them in the wrong holes and then the ship which is a pretty cool design um i do enjoy spaceships oh it's it's pretty cool pretty cool little design it does have little flames coming out of the booster. Um, the ship is very um, alien-esque from the original. to get oh there it goes that's how it sits so I mean this is actually probably okay so this is probably the the cooler thing in the box um it's probably one of my favorite things so far and it's to something I don't even have a clue what it's about um I'm I don't even think I've ever heard of the expanse I have no idea what it is um so if you guys know in the comments uh let me know because I have no idea. Um, is it a show? Is it a movie? Is it something I should check out? Um, I have absolutely no idea. So, yeah. Um, and it looks like the last item is this roll. And I'm sorry, guys. I have no idea what the hell is going on with the zoom. I'm completely out of focus. And that got way worse. Oh, there you go. Finally, you want to autofocus. And we have what appears to be like on the floor. Um, it appears to be a post. Okay, okay. So it is a post-apocalyptic scene. Um, it is like a farm. And there is a robot right out here in the middle of the crop. And that is because it is a Vault Boy Fallout Loot Crate um, ad. While the poster is actually kind of cool, I don't know. I I think this is kind of a cheap promo. Um, all because they no longer do the books. You get this, and there's absolutely no information on the back. Well, I say there's absolutely no information, but I mean, it's just the basic, you know, exclusive Black Panther t-shirt. License from Marvel, art by Chris. Uh, exclusive Expanse, Reconnaissance uh, ship replica. And I have no idea if I'm even saying that right. Licensed from Alcone Entertainment, made by Loot Crate. Pacific Rim Coaster Set, licensed by Legendary Entertainment, made by 
Insight Editions, exclusive Fallout 4 art print, licensed by Bethesda, uh, exclusive How to Train Your Dragon pen, licensed by DreamWorks Animation, made by Lootcrate, and then Digital Magazine Online. I actually might be the only one that preferred to have the magazine in hand. Um, I actually liked looking at it, and I like the fact that they um, had their looters in there, and all that good stuff. I thought it was uh, a good way to pay homage to the people that subscribe, and now it just seems like they're kind of cheaping out, and then they're doing stuff like this, like the posters I don't have a problem with, but I don't, when I get stuff like this, it's like the they didn't even care about the poster itself. They were just caring about putting the advertisements on the back. And that was something that was literally like a half a page or a page that they would put in the magazine. But the magazine wasn't just advertising them, you know, talking about the, the product and, you know, giving insight and information and all that stuff. And they kind of took that away. And I don't know. So that's kind of kind of a shoddy deal for me. But I don't know. It was a decent box, I guess. The t-shirt was pretty cool. Um, the coasters aren't... Uh, they're a, a brand I like, Pacific Rim, but they're not... I'm not overly impressed with them. Um, considering that the last box I got had coasters in it, but they were the metal Doctor Strange coasters, so they were a hundred times better than this. Um, a cheap poster, a How to Train Your Dragon pen that doesn't seem to fit in the midst of anything. I don't, I don't know, this box just seems really jumbled. And my favorite, one of my favorite items in the box is definitely the Spaceship 2 show that I have absolutely no idea what it's about. So, that's a February loot crate. Um, I'm assuming the uh, thing is Protect. And if you guys have any idea what any, what this spaceship is about please let me know because I have no friggin clue um, but uh, before I go I am going to throw out uh, this so I am currently working on getting my mixer channel uh, up and going and I have found out that it is not against the mixer re rules and regulations to record a video and then have it posted on YouTube which is fantastic um, they are against doing stuff like co-streaming with like Mixer and Twitter at the same time, stuff like that, but there is no issues with me posting my videos to YouTube. So, with that being said, I was highly contemplating recording my unboxings on Mixer and then posting that video to YouTube um, via my channel, of course. But this way, it kind of promotes both my Mixer channel and my YouTube channel. Um, so, the the unboxings will actually be done live on camera and then I will just take that video uh, from Mixer and then just post it to YouTube. The question is, is do you guys think that's a good idea? Would you guys actually be interested in watching these live unboxings and chatting with me? And if that's the case, then I am strongly urging myself to do a Facebook page for my YouTube channel and a Twitter that way I can actually link when I'm doing all my unboxings live. That way if anybody wants to watch them live, they can actually watch them live. And, you know, we can actually talk about the items that I'm unboxing as I'm unboxing them. Uh, stuff like that. So, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I'm actually leaning strongly towards that. Um, but I just want to know if, you know, a live unboxing would actually generate people wanting to talk about items and stuff so um, but again that's it for now let me know what you guys think um, uh, would a Facebook page and a Twitter page be enough for me to promote um, live unboxing channels is live unboxing channel something that even people want to watch um, so just let me know what you guys think in the comments um, I definitely would love to hear your feedback on this uh, and Oh, I guess one last thing before we go. The inside of the crate is like a safe. So, um, it's kind of an old-timey safe. Not bad. Kind of cool. 
I might actually flip that one inside out and actually use it as a storage just because it'll look like an old safe. So that's kind of cool. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, that's it for now. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, share. Tell your friends. Tell your moms. Tell your friends' moms. You know, whatever. Um, but that's it for now. So let me know what you guys thought about the video. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, the routine. And as always, y'all stay geeky.